Hi, Hi everyone. It will take 1,000 sheets of pure gold to cover this mask of the mythical demon king. Same like India, right? He is a main character in same Tai Khan, in Thai a traditional dance that depicts area. a battle between good and evil. For 600 years, artisans have dedicated their lives to making these masks. But the popularity of the dance has been dying Why? out since the 1950s. Today, Prateep Radpoy is helping Prateep. to keep the art Very alive. Good. We went to Ang Tong, Thailand to see how the tradition of making these masks is still standing. Paper makes up the base of every con mask. And this clay mold will give it shape. Each mask requires a different kind, and Prateep has made dozens over the years. He covers it with petroleum jelly so the paper doesn't stick to it. It takes him two hours to build 10 wow. layers of paper. There are four main characters in Khan. Heroes, heroines, one, one, one. monkeys, and demons. They depict characters from the battle yeah. between Rama and Ravana. Two kings who represent good and Same. evil. Monkeys make up Rama's army of warriors fighting to save the heroine from Ravana. Mata Sita. Today, Prateep is making the mask of the demon king for a performance. He shapes the face with strips of white cement he's prepared. Hmm. It's a discomfort Prateep has become used to. He learned mass making from his uncle when he was 14 years old. To this day, many of his family members still perform con with the masks he creates. Prateep shapes the decorative details of the crown one by one using a stencil. This pattern is common in Thai architecture, often seen at Buddhist temples and monasteries. There are over 300 variations of Khan masks and Prateep has memorized them all. Then it's time to cover the crown in gold. Other mask makers use paint, but he only uses pure leaves of 0.03 carats each. This technique is called gilding. Gold for a mask this size can cost 10,000 Thai baht or $260. Prateep is careful to not waste. The brush helps him get to the narrow corners. It takes him up to three hours to gild one mask. Today, he works alone in his small workshop. We need workshop. more people like him. Right? Prateep uses plank wood to make the outer details like the ears. Then it's time to paint. The colors must be vibrant so audiences can see even the smallest detail clearly on stage. Ravana's skin is usually green or dark blue, and he has fierce facial features. In the past, mask makers made paint from extracts of flowers and tree barks. But now, most opt for waterproof acrylic paint to save time. 
อันนี้สีของของบางทีก็ใช้ของอเมริกาดีก็ใช้ของญี่ปุ่น Jewels like these can be used to signify the power a con character holds. He assembles Ravana's three-tier crown. The two heads represent his ten heads and connection to the Hindu god Brahma. Finally, the mask is ready for performance. Con originally was only performed during royal ceremonies in the Ayutthaya period, from the 14th to the 18th century. The craft nearly disappeared when film and television became a more popular form of entertainment in the 1950s. It regained some popularity in the 1990s when the Thai queen Sirikit promoted it, but it never made a full comeback. Nowadays, performing arts schools teach the dance across the country. Khan combines multiple art traditions in Thailand, including well, nice. sword fighting. And shadow puppetry. It pulls inspiration from Buddhism and the Hindu story of Ramayana. Students start as young as eight years old and must endure years of training in classical dance, martial arts, and acting. Mani Prapa Khon Ard has dedicated most of her life to Khon. But there was a time she wouldn't be allowed to do this at all. Up until the 18th century, only men could perform, even in the female like roles. Indian name, right? Mani Prapa has learned from her grandfather, so who is a master. How many of you have some Indian kind of name? Her group mainly dances at I school events, cultural Sanskrit, festivals, and funerals. All the names. So it's a common between <laughs> India and Thai culture, or maybe a whole of Southeast Asia. I want to be a bandit. That's the thing I learned. And it's a common culture. It's common in Indonesia, Cambodia, Myanmar. Pratip believes the only way to save his craft is to preserve the tradition. But the past few years have been tough since all live performances came to a halt during the pandemic. Pratip didn't get new orders for months and was forced to move his workshop away from Bangkok to save money. But he managed to stay afloat. Nowadays, he sells about two or three masks a month, mainly to tourists. But he still worries his craft may not survive another crisis like the pandemic. That's why passing it on to the next generation is so important to him. He's trained dozens of people over 40 years. And he hopes his masks will continue to tell the story of Thailand's rich culture. So same Ayutthaya in India also as Ayodhya. So you guys watch the new temple for King Rama is made in India and you can also travel there. Hi, this is our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe.